welcome back to Loopsy Lola. I'm here today because um, I got a Ashford 24 inch rigid heddle loom for Christmas. Um, the only thing I've done is I have opened the box to take out the instructions and see what kind of wax I'm going to need for the finishing of the loom because it comes unassembled and you also have to finish it if you choose to, but I'm going to choose to because I want um, it to last a while. All right, so the box says Ashford wheels and looms. I was super excited when I opened the wrapping paper. And I can pull over here so I can kind of see more. This was the instructions it came with on how to assemble the loom. So those will come in handy. And it also came with um, learning to weave on the rigid heddle loom. And it's a colored instruction booklet and it walks you through how to make your first project, which is going to be a scarf. So that'll walk you through warping it and um, you know, winding it and getting the tension right and everything like that for your first project. I'm so excited. And it also came with um, just one of their booklets on the different uh, products they offer. More, you know, rigid heddle looms, um, their yarns, table looms, uh, spinning machines, spinning wheels. I don't, know, I don't spin. Um, also came with their annual The Wheel magazine that is all spinning, weaving, carding, felting, knitting, and dyeing. And it also came with a piece of sandpaper to make sure the edges of your loom are uh, smooth and everything. You don't have any problems. This is just to finish up your wood if you get, you know, have an issue. So, put that aside. Um, after I went through this stuff to see what I was gonna use to finish it, I went to Lowe's and I got a paste finishing wax from Min Wax in a natural color. And then I also got things of cheesecloth to apply to the loom because this is how I'm choosing to finish my loom. I know plenty of people um, in the groups that I'm in don't finish their looms and it's just a personal preference. And really, I mean, I might not need to ever need it finished, but I just, peace of mind, you know? Okay, so obviously, of course, when you open it, the first thing you see is the heddle. This is the 7.5 dent. And I believe, like, I'm not a pro, Obviously, any of this is my first loom and I've never even worked with one. Um, but I believe this is good for like a worsted weight yarn. It'll work for that. Um, or a three, like a DK weight. Um, and that's obviously like where your yarn goes through and beats down on. There's the sides of the loom. And this has, and this one doesn't, but this has the nice Ashford emblem thing. It has a spinning wheel on it. It's nice. And then these are like what your yarn and your um, fabric will be wrapped around at some point during your project. Hopefully. Um, I mean, I've um, researched these a lot, so I kind of know what this stuff does. I think. There's two of these. I'm just assuming these probably go on the ends as well. Um, I think. Comes with, ooh, quite a bit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, no. 10 of the cardboard sticks that you wrap around um, when you're warping on. My dog's very curious. I did open the box a little bit ago and let her sniff around just so she wouldn't be right here the whole time, but 
Apparently she likes the smell of the wood. Okay, also came with two shuttles, which that'll come in handy, especially if I'm doing um, two different colors in the weft of the project I'm working on. This is what you put your yarn around, and then as you're going through the shed, it's dropping down your weft color on your floor. So, two of these. <laughs> She's more interested in this. Um, these are our two boards that, or six I should say rather, they go close to this. I think, I think they might hang off of this. That's what these holes are for. Um, they hang off of this and you'll like tie your yarn onto it and adjust tension and everything. This is what your yarn goes on. Like I said, I'm not a pro, I don't really know too, too much about it, so I might be misspeaking, but this is just more of an unboxing video. What do we have here? Oh, we have, um, oh, this is two of these. They'll be going in like the middle of the loom, and this is what your heddle sits on for the different positions of up and down, like the up position and down and Neutral, I guess they probably call it. So that goes on either side of the loom. I do not know. <laughs> or I bet this is the warping peg. Yeah, this is the warping peg. It goes together with a clamp and then um, as you're putting your yarn on uh, to start the warp or whatever, you'll be using this on the other end of the table. <laughs> All right, then we've got something wrapped tape. My guess is probably the warping peg clamps. I think it should come with two, two or three clamps. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, the two looks like two clamps it came with because one holds your loom down on one side of the table and then one holds the warping peg down on the other end of the table or chair or whatever you have. Um, and then it also came with all the screws and a couple washers that uh, you'll be using to put together your loom. And then last is it looks like the pawls, hat pawls, I think is how you say it, that will go on, well, this is one of the gears, but, um, that'll go on like so, on the side of your loom, and it'll be when you crank your project to bring your fabric down or whatnot, um, and adjust your tension and all that. So bring it down. I'm excited to do my first project and show you guys too. And it also has the little um, plastic strip ribbon things that attach these things. I think it's to this thing. And it'll hang there. We'll see once we put it all together. And that's just some more of the Paul thing that Paul does. And it also comes with the tool that helps you warp on and slay your yarn through the heddle. So you'll be like grabbing your yarn through like that. And then once it's all on, you go back through the little holes in the middle and slay it through. So, all right, that's all that was in my box. Um, I'm going to stop the video now and I'm gonna go and start putting on my finishing wax and once I get that all done and we're ready to assemble it I'll start another video and we'll do the assembling of the Ashford 24 inch rigid heddle loop. All right well thanks for watching and if you have any comments or questions leave them down below and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching.